Hello, I'm Anthony James, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be ranking the Game of Thrones characters from my favorite to my least favorite. Now, whether that takes into account how good of a character I think they are, uh, compared to whether I just like them or not, it's going to be a mixed bag, to be honest with you. Chances are, if they're a good character, I'll like them more. So, it's probably going to be, you know, well, I'm sure you'll completely disagree with me from what I choose, but yeah. I know, I know, you're probably going to say to me, Anthony, you're a bit late to this ranking thing. Well, the funny thing is, I didn't realize until a few days ago that uh, these this ranking website, I think, what's the name of the website? Tier Maker. It's a fantastic website. I never knew about it before. I don't know how I missed it. But uh, basically, what I'm going to do is I am going to rank all of the Game of Thrones characters, just for a bit of fun. To be honest with you, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in between TV series at the minute. Um, I'm, I'm sort of halfway through Expanse Season 4, watching the boys as well, one episode to go. So I thought I'd just do something fun on this Thursday upload, just to, you know, see what you think. And I just wanted to do something fun. I didn't want to miss the upload, because I didn't really have anything to review at the minute. So I didn't want to miss the upload, and I'm not quite done on a video essay that I'm doing, which will be released next week, and that video essay is going to be all about Jon Snow. So I'm interested to see what you think about that as well, so keep keep uh, tuned to that. Before I go into my rankings, I just want to say, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button below. What are you waiting for? Come on, it's right there. It's free, and I, keep, I post at least three or four videos a week. I'm sure you will be uh, really enjoying them. I do a lot of content on Netflix as dark, so if you've seen that, or even if you haven't seen that, watch it, and then come back to my channel, because I do a lot of content on that, as well as other series as well. Uh, I do a podcast every Monday and Saturday with my friend Conrad. He's never seen Netflix's Dark before, and we go through it one episode at a time. That would probably be a really good one for you to watch along with us, if you haven't seen it already. All right, apart from that, I think we've done all the plugs we need. Let's get into it. So, first of all, is Arya. Arya. So, fan favorite, I would say. Up to a certain extent, anyway. Um, I know she she became a little bit cringy towards the end. Um, I probably will be as we go through this, sort of giving you my views on on what I saw thought of the show. So it sort of maybe acts as acts as a little bit of a review of the show too. But uh, it's definitely a thing that everyone you know. It's a big big show, and um, I still really like it. I still rewatch certain episodes. So um, Arya, right? I'm not going to lie to you. I do like Arya. I, I think Arya is a good character. Um, I do now hate. Come on, bring the hate in the comments. But I do disagree with the fact that she killed the Night King. Um, I, I think if Jon Snow didn't exist in the show, her killing the Night King would have been cool. Um, but I do personally believe that Jon Snow should have been the one to kill the Night King because that should have been his the end of his character arc. Having said that, next week's uh, uh, video essay might, might go into a bit of that. Okay, so... Um, Arya, where do I think she is? She's definitely above average, I think. The main characters, they've had so much character development put into them that I would imagine most of them are going to be uh, towards the top. Now, she's definitely not a perfect character. Um, I would say if we're, if we're judging her based up to about season six, maybe an A. Maybe she'd be an A. But I think I think based on based on the end of season, season eight... I should have said spoilers, by the way, where she's like all of a sudden going out west. You know, she, she, what's west of Westeros? She got is, is she going to discover America? Is she Chris Columbus now? Even though Chris Columbus never actually set foot in America. But I think that was a bit jumbled. I think it was a bit like, oh, I'm going to do this now. Um, so I'm going to give her a B. I still enjoy her as a character. I like she sort of became very cool, even though I don't really believe that Maisie Williams can do all that stuff. I don't. I wasn't really... You know, but she was good enough. She was good enough. I think there was there were certain times where she was very, very poorly acted, but uh, other times she did well. So she'll go B. Cersei. What do I think of her? Now Cersei's one that I'm very, very tempted just to throw down here because I despise the character so much. Having said that, you know there is a fair bit of humanity to Cersei too. They do put a lot of effort into her. I'm not going to put her down there. I probably will put her... Do I think Cersei's better than Arya? That's a question. Um, hmm, it's close call. I think I'm probably going to have to be harsh. I know as I get through to my, some of my favorite characters, I'm going to want to move some people down probably. So I'm going to be harsh on Cersei, and I'm going to put her to B as well. Um, to me, uh, she's only there because I just despise her so much, which actually makes her a really good character. I know it does. Um, again... There was a little bit of question 
questioning about her 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 end, the end of her uh, the end of her reign or the, reign as a character, I suppose. But the way she died and everything, there's a little bit of a question whether I agree with that or not. Uh, I do. Well, we'll get into that more with Jamie, I think. But I'm tempted for A, if I'm honest with you. I'm tempted because she is such a good character. She made me hate her. But just knowing how good the characters are to come, for in my mind, I'm going to leave her at B. Maybe you, you completely disagree with me, but I'm going to leave her at B. Next, I assume this is Bran falling from the tower. Um, there. <sighs> Bran had so much potential. So much potential. I really, really think that Bran in the books is... I, I much prefer Bran from the books. Um, and I think that in the show, they, just, they didn't really know what to do with him. You know, what do you do with this character who seems to have an all-knowing power? You can do it, you know, go into the past, change things. It, well, not, not, or not change things, so to speak, predetermined, you know. But uh, what do you do with that character? You know, they didn't know what to do with him. And in the show, I'm, this, I'm basing on this as the show, Game of Thrones, not A Song of Ice and Fire, He's an average character to me. Um, I know he ends up he ends up being the king, but to me, he's an average character. What do you think? But leave a comment below. Am I am I not, am I not doing Bran uh, the service he needs? Brienne. Straight away, I'm thinking B for Brienne as well. Uh, it would be very harsh to put her in a C. Brienne's a really badass character. Um, Gwendolyn Christie did a really good job playing that role. Um, some of the really cool, badass, kick-ass moments were for, for Brienne. I love the whole storyline where with her and Jamie. I love that she gave the sword. Again, season eight, and to me, let her down a bit. But uh, I'll leave her at B for now. I'll leave her at B for now. Um, and I might... We'll see where we go at the end. Uh, now, this is uh, one that maybe... I don't care what happened in season, in season eight, because it was a bit strange as well. But Bron A... I love Bron. Absolutely love Bron. Um, he's funny. Uh, I think he he's 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 a sell sword. He's always out for gold. He's he was every time he's on the screen. I, I loved it. It also helps that my favorite musician Johnny Flynn, and Johnny Flynn's also an actor, so you might know him. He's playing David Bowie in a, a film coming up uh, called Star. Uh, What's called S Stardust? I think it's called Stardust. Yeah, Ziggy Stardust. Uh, but Bron played by uh, Jerome Flynn, is actually Johnny Flynn's brother. So, or half-brother, I think. But yeah, so I always was endeared to this character from the get-go. He's great. Um, okay, so next up, Catelyn Stark. Catelyn, Catelyn, Catelyn. I feel for all these main characters, it's a bit harsh to put them low. Um, again, this is only show we're going by. So any book uh, fans out there, don't strangle me, please. Uh... I'm going to go... Hmm. This is really hard. We'll put her with her son, Bran. I think that, for me, the first few episodes of season one, I couldn't get past Catelyn being... Um, so hateful of John. Now I know in the book she is, you know, she doesn't like John either, and the whole reason for that, we we know the reason for that. But <laughs> it just felt it just felt so like inhuman to me. Just you know, no matter what, he'd been there for 16, 17 years at that point, and she still, you know, didn't say a word to him. You know what I mean? So it was a bit over over the top in my opinion in terms of the way she it was just like, hey, look, this she doesn't like that guy. She doesn't like him really, and it was kept reminding us that she doesn't like him. So. I was a little bit, you know, ah, oh, come on. But okay, so next, let's Joffrey. Joffrey. Mm, I'm pretty sure we got to go there, guys, don't we? He did. Like, what, what did he do wrong in terms of Joff, what Joffrey needed to do in the show? What did they? What did he do wrong? You know, um, he was perfect in terms of what they were trying to achieve with that character. So, if you disagree with me, that. He shouldn't be up there. Like I, come on, he's one of the most iconic characters from the show. There was a time when like every meme on the internet was about how much you hate Joffrey. Um, so I know I hated the character. Of course I hated the character. Was I happy to see him die? Of course I was happy to see him die. But just how perfectly he he fulfilled his role. He was the main heel of the of the show, the bad guy. And you know, in my opinion. 
couldn't get any better than him in terms of a bad guy. Uh, it's just, there was a little bit of humanity to him too. Like he, he, he was clearly like he, you look at his mom and the way he was brought up, and you know he's a product of incest, obviously. So there was very much, you know, there was a lot of, there was a lot of background stuff there to help sort of help you sort of see where he was coming from. But at the same time, he's just completely messed up. And the the job they did with him, you know, and the actor, Jack Gleason, unbelievable. Just really, really enjoyed it. Fantastic. This guy, uh, Thoris of Mir, <laughs> Mir, straight away, put him there. The only reason I'm putting him there, and don't read into this anymore, is that I really hate characters changing their actor. Now, obviously, this happens for all sorts of reasons, which uh, I understand that it has to happen. But every time I looked at him, I couldn't help but think, that's not what you're supposed to look like. Uh, and I also know in the books he's meant to have like blue hair and stuff. But uh, Dario Naharis, there you go. Um, give me some bad comments, bad comments about that one. I'm sure I put him in the wrong place. Right, Onion Knight. A, definitely A. Absolutely love the Onion Knight. Uh, just, yeah, I don't think I have to say anything else. He's just a great great character. I love how he's so morally... Uh, he's a, He's a... He, he works with his morals. He's very he's a very just man. Um, a bit too much faith in Stannis, I would say. Have, however, Stannis did sort of give him his leg up in life. Um, so yeah, just I you know love the the Onion Knight. Uh, Talisa, got to just put her as a D. I'd say that there was a little bit of development for her, but there wasn't overly much. Um, you know, I, I enjoyed the fact that they put her into the Red Wedding, like in the book. Uh, I, th I think isn't he is it Jane Westling that he's with in the book? Uh, so Talisa being sort of from a foreign land spiced it up a little bit, I suppose. <laughs> spiced it up, real meme there. But um, basically, she uh, she her being in the Red Wedding made that scene even more impactful than the book actually, and I was really I was really happy with that. I, I thought they did a great job. Um, so D for her, she's not completely shit, but she is definitely not at the same level as uh, these two. I'm being very harsh. D would be a fail, wouldn't it? So I'm not sure if they failed with what they were trying to do with her, but mm, yeah, I'm leaving her there. I might move her up later, but I'm leaving her there. Just for the fact that they included her in the Red Wedding, which made it much more impactful, might be enough to move her up, but I'll leave her there for now. Right, Daenerys. Oh, Daenerys. Just for the show, guys. We're only going for the show. Daenerys has to be... I'll put her B. It's harsh to put her at C, because I did enjoy Daenerys a lot. Daenerys was one of my favorite characters for a lot of the show. Um, and then she turned into Hitler. Um, what I think of that, I'll leave for another day. But uh, you know that it's... It's not where I would have, where I would have expected it to go. Now, if it happens in the books, it happens in the books. I'm sure it'll be much better built up. You know, in the books, you're inside her head, so you see more of the dragon aspect to her. In the show, it really came out of nowhere. Like, what statement are they making that people who want to free slaves also turn into Nazi-like figures? It's very strange. Um, so, okay, I'll, pu I'll put her at B just because of how much I liked her up to the final season. Um, actually, up to season six, I'd say. Even season seven with the whole John ro romance stuff was a bit strange to me. Uh, I don't even know where to put this guy. Drogon. Where would I put him? Or just the dragons in general, I think this is. Where would I put the dragons? Um, just for how cool they look, let's put him C. All right. Let's put him C. Um, they're cool. Uh, you know. Gendry. Uh, D. Not going to say much about Gendry. D. Ghost. Love Ghost. How much of a good character is Ghost? Uh, not much of a character to that dog at all, to be honest with you. Um, in terms of character, in terms of, like, I suppose, come on, you got to put, you got to put a Ghost D. It's a dog. There's not been much character development for that dog. I can't, I can't put him on the, the same level as Catelyn and Bran. I, I know I'm putting the dragons there, but to me, the dragons were much a bigger part of the show than Ghost was. Even though Ghost was really cool with John, and there was a lot to that relationship between him and him and Ghost. But for the the dragons are probably like a metaphor for like nuclear weapons. You know, like they're a, a central theme in 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 the in the show that needs to be given a bit of respect. So I'm going to pop it in at C for that one, even though they're not really characters. Um, okay, so Gilly, 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 Gilly. Uh, C. 
see nothing special to say about Gilly. I enjoy, like, you know, good performance by the actress. Um, I enjoyed where sort of Gilly went. I like that Sam sort of became more, you know, mature through Gilly. Uh, so, you know, Gilly served her purpose very well. Um, was there much other than that? You know, no, she's not. Gilly isn't one of the, the female characters I look at in the show and think that's a character that young girls will be inspired by. Not that young girls should be watching Game of Thrones, let's just say. But <laughs> that's a, that's another conversation. Um, Grey Worm. Grey Worm, Grey Worm, Grey Worm. I'd say Grey Worm's here. Yeah, I like Grey Worm. I think the uh, the Unsullied in general were really cool. Like When they were introduced in that one of my favorite scenes of the whole show was whenever uh, Daenerys was, uh, well, she burned the slave owner and then uh, the master and then sort of freed all the Unsullied. That was a great scene. Um, and those guys deserve to burn purely just for making one of those Unsullied cut his own nipple off. That was horrif horrific. Um, Hodor. Where, I can't, you can't be bad, you sad, you can't be bad to Hodor. I've got to put Hodor here, come on. Um, should he be perfect? Uh, nah, nah, I'm not going to put him, I'll put him there. Um, although the fact that he is from Northern Ireland, which is where I, I, I live, and I, uh, I, I've been here since I was 12, so I, I feel Northern Irish. The fact that he is, is from Northern Ireland makes me want to put him higher. Also, the fact, the fact that he's also a DJ uh, around the Northern Irish clubs uh, makes me want to put him higher, but I'm going to leave him there. Uh, okay, so Hot Pie. Hot Pie can go there. Served his purpose. You know, he's off making pies somewhere. Hopefully one day I'll get to taste one of them. I think the actor actually has his own pie shop now. Okay, lean into it, mate. Lean into it. Uh, the Hound. Uh, I like The Hound. I liked... I, I, that's one part of the season eight that I really liked, is that I liked that he... he so from season four, he had sort of a mentor relationship with uh, Arya. Really like, a, you know, he took her under his wing. And I love that in season eight, that in at the end of Arya's arc, in my opinion, was whenever she uh, left King's Landing and didn't go and kill Cersei because he, she realized that um, she was just going to turn into the Hound. And he said, don't be me. That was a really lovely moment. Um, so definitely going to move him up to B. It's I'm, I'm, I'm being a, this is actually pretty good. You would imagine that it's going to sort of average out around C, D, B, and it's going to sort of look like, like this sort of thing, you know, like a, like a sort of sideways V. So I think I'm going that way, actually. I think I'm being pretty fair with this. Uh, obviously, yours will look completely different than mine, but you know. Uh, Jamie, to be honest with you, I'm putting Jamie at A, even though, even though, <sighs> I, I think it's believable that, that Jamie would... F He's a tragic hero. You know, I, I think it's believable that he would... Uh, or an anti-hero even as well. But I think it, it's believable that he would sort of digress. Uh, sorry, not digress. Go back on all the work that he's done to build up to where he's at and actually go back to Cersei. I think that's really... I think that's really, really realistic. So that's where he's going to go. Jack and Hagar... Served his purpose. Let's go. He's better than Hot Pie and Gendry. Let's go here. Uh, Gior Mormont. Love Gior Mormont. He was only in the show for a short amount of time, but I love him. Um, uh, put him here. Okay, put him there. Um, Gior Mormont. Khaleesi. Khaleesi. Gior Mormont. Uh... <laughs> Uh, Jorah, right? Okay, put him there. I, I, I don't, I don't want to put all the characters that had more screen time higher just because they had more screen time. So he'll be there. You know, he's a good character. He's a good character. Like, but um, he's not one of my favorites to be honest with you. Uh, my wife actually worked on his armor. My wife works in costume. It's filmed in Northern Ireland. So future videos, I might get her to talk about that. Uh, Drogo. So Drogo is my favorite character of the whole show. <laughs> so absolutely love Drogo. Um, and he goes there. Night King. There you go, mate. Lancel. Put him there. Some of these smaller characters. like this. this there's so many characters on this list. Oh, my God. I know there's so many characters in Game of Thrones, but I probably should have chosen one with, with just the main characters. Uh, Littlefinger. I like Littlefinger. Even if he doesn't know how to keep an accent, the actor. Um, Sansa. 
Um, he's, he's, his accent goes all over the place. Yeah, we'll put him there. Um, I think... He's another character, in my opinion, that suffered a little bit from his ending. Um, yeah, I'll put I'll put him there. Lysa. Okay. Can't I, every time I look at Lysa, I cannot th think of anything other than her son uh, feeding at, at an age he sh that, sh that she shouldn't. Uh, this guy. I'm just gonna put this guy here. No explanation. Just horrible, horrible man. Um, Marjorie Terrell. Yeah, there. See, we're, we're starting to get that shape. We're starting to get in that nice shape, the nice, the shape you want, you know? You want a few up here, a little bit less, and then more, a little bit less. This is where it should, the average should be. So we're, we're doing well, actually. Um, Masande. Masande. I know Grey Worm's up here, so it's a bit strange of me not to put her up there. Um, yeah, I put her there. Uh, Marcella. Didn't see much of her. You know what? I'm going to put haven't met. Because <laughs> we hardly saw, we saw hardly any of her. So it's as, that's as good as having, haven't met her, isn't it? So we'll, we'll leave it, we'll leave the haven't met there, right? Uh, okay. So Ned, love Ned. Absolutely love Ned. Obviously, it was integral to the story and the sort of thrust of the story that he go, that he goes so very early and die. But, you can't you can't deny he's an absolutely fantastic man. I love Ned. Absolutely love Ned. Um, okay, so another Northern Irishman, Conleth Hill plays Varus. Varus is a good is a good character as well. It was very strange the end the, at the end when uh, Varus uh, was killed for doing for uh, saying that uh, they should they should uh, kill Daenerys, and then like literally an episode later, Tyrion was then advocating for the same. Uh, it was a bit quick. It was a bit fast-paced, that changeover. But um, in general, uh, Varus is great. Okay, so look at this. We've got so many more left to do. Right, let's do a speed round, right? Let's do a speed round. Boom. Theon, there. Pod, there. Uh, actually, Pod, there. Even though he's a small role, I like him. Ramsey Bolton. To be honest with you, for me, there. Ramsey Bolton is one that I didn't love to hate him i just hated him joffrey i love to hate him uh ramsey bolton no uh renly i'm uh, sure he was okay um frickon you gotta swerve man you gotta swerve you know i know we didn't really grow up playing sports because you know they're from the middle ages but you gotta swerve rickon rob uh, i'll put him here I think he was a bit dull, Rob. To be honest with you, but um, he's cool. I like Rob. I think he's cool, but he, but he's, but he's a bit dull. Um, okay, this guy, Jesus, one of the most annoying characters I've ever met. Didn't meet him, you know what I mean? But you know what I mean. He is. He's hard to take. He's hard to take. Robert, I love Robert. Um, the only thing I'll say about Robert is I don't believe that uh, the actor here, the fellow from Full Monty, I can't remember his name. The, I don't believe that that actor was this big behemoth of a man swinging a a, a, a hammer or an axe or whatever he had. I don't believe it. Oh, yeah, I think he had a hammer because then Gendry has one as well. Uh, Roose Bolton, same as same as Ramsey. Samuel Tarly, up you go, son. Um, uh, do I? Yeah, we'll leave him A. Everyone loves Sam. I like Sam. Um, he's worth there. Uh, anything to do with Dawn can go down here. <laughs> uh Dorn. Dorn. Yeah, we'll put we'll put her there. Um okay, so Sansa average for me. Actually up here. I like Sansa. I think Sansa became one of the most capable characters. I think that Sansa became actually we'll pop Sansa here. I do like Sansa. I think I think Sansa's a character who learnt the most throughout the throughout the series. Um, sort of learn the most about life rather than Arya learned probably the most about skills and fighting and all that sort of thing but Sansa really became like very sort of competent politically by the end and I to be honest with you when they were when they were all saying king of the north king of the north for uh, Jon Snow I was thinking like why are they giving it to this fella just give it to Sansa she she deserves it you know she she went through a lot we'll say she went through a lot and she came out very very competent 
in my opinion. Tormund. Tormund. Cool character. We'll pop him there. Uh, Shay. How could you b betray Tyrion like that? We'll pop you at the same level as Roos and Ramsay. You can see that there's a couple of characters who I'm not even taking into account <laughs> how well written they were. I think Shay was well written, but uh, just just some sometimes the emotions just take over, unfortunately. Uh, Jon Snow. He's got to be B, even though it's very, you know, he's the stereo, for a lot of it, he's the sort of stereotypical smoldering man um, who is destined to be the hero. Um, and then I suppose he was kind of the hero because he did kill Daenerys, but he didn't kill the Night King, which is what he should have been a hero for. Um, and I'll, I've, I've explained that in my uh, podcast with um, Conrad on... Uh, the After Dark podcast, episode 12, I think it was, where we talked about Jon Snow's character. But definitely, he deserved better with the end of his storyline. But he's, he's probably one of the main characters. He's one of the main characters of the show. Had a lot of work put into him. So I didn't dislike Jon. I, I did like Jon. Um, I just think that the last few seasons, they really failed him. This guy, the High Sparrow. I'm tempted to put him all the way at the bottom because I know that the actor was... I've, I've heard an interview with the actor. I, and I've seen this actor live um, doing Shakespeare in the Globe Theatre in London. He's a fantastic actor. His name's escaped me at the minute. He's also from uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, Elizabeth Swan's dad. But he, in an interview, was very dismissive of the content of Game of Thrones and sort of looks looked down his nose at it. Um, so I'm very tempted to put him down there. Having said that, I think actually the High Sparrow was good. I enjoyed the High Sparrow's... Uh, plotline i did enjoy that so he can go there stannis the one true king he should be the king um if if you believe robert's uh rebellion to be um a correct passing of power to robert if you believe robert was the king and you don't believe that the targaryens are rightfully uh owned the throne then you must believe that stannis is should be the rightful king because stannis is the next in line past robert and uh you know we all know that those kids weren't robert's so stannis the one true king Always believe that. Tommen, mm, he was a good heart. We'll put him there. Uh, don't know who this guy is. I can't. I remember him in the show. I, the name is escaping me. The, his name is escaping me. me. I thought Ilan Payne, but no, Ilan Payne's the old guy with no tongue. His name has escaped me, and because of that, we'll say I haven't met him. <laughs> Tyrion, got to be A. Come on, we all like Tyrion. I mean, look look at my top here. A and the perfect characters. Like, you look at my... More people probably look at my perfect characters and they were nowhere near expecting that at the top. I'm really tempted to put Ned up there too, actually. Yeah, whatever. I'll put Ned up there too. Perfectly served his purpose in the show. Okay. This guy... Sorry, some people are just too hateful. Viserys? No. Um, Tywin. Tywin is C... Uh, Melisandre, C. I'm going to go quick here, because what are we at? We're 30 minutes. Jeez. All right, this is a bit long. It's a bit long. Should I just stall and make, make it be longer? <laughs> Yara. I like Yara. Um, I like Yara. Uh, Egret. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Deserves to be there just for, come, just for being that one who made that line. Uh, you know why I'm putting the mountain down there? Same reason Thoros and Mur's there. No, that's not Thoros and Mur, sorry. Pfft, what am I talking about? Um, same reason, same reason. He had his character, you know, actor replaced multiple times. And the, the mountain's a cool character. In the, in the books, he's one of my favorite characters. Gregor Clegane. Clegane. But to be honest with you, nah. Nah. In the show, he's just a massive brute. And then he turns into like a weird like zombie man, and there's really not much character going on. Give him a D, actually. Not to be too crazy. Uh, Oberon, C. I like Oberon. Um, sort of flew a bit close to the sun there in his final battle with the mountain. A bit of an Icarus about him, uh, but I like I like the. Uh, he kept repeating the same thing over and over again. I don't want to say it here just in case of demonetization, but um, you hurt her, you murdered her, you killed her children. It was great. I, I, I'm so new on YouTube, I don't know what demonetizes, so I don't want to say that word. You know it, you know it. Uh, okay, so, you're on. There. <laughs> Need I say more? Uh, Mance Raider. Gotta put him there. I'm not gonna go too crazy over Mance. 
Definitely Mance was a good character. Um, <laughs> I'm putting with D, even though it's a good character. But this is so top-heavy. I can't just say they're all good. So Mance has to go here. Um, Ollie. There. What are you doing, Ollie? I'm telling you now, Ollie annoyed the hell out of me. You killed Egret. You annoyed the hell out of me. Uh, Barristan. I love Barristan Selmy. Uh, probably put him at C uh, as well. Sort of not one, of not one of my really favorite characters, but he also, I, did, I, I didn't dislike him. I actually really liked him. So he'll go there. One one, not much character development there. We'll put him there. Although he's really cool, he's really cool. I, I like the design of the of the uh, the giants in the show. Um, Jojen, Jojen Reed, Jojen Reed, Jojen Reed, Jojen Reed. Pop him. Why why am I put? Why am I hovering over A? He's not going in A. Jojen Reed is not going in A. Uh, pff. Yeah, there. Bit forgettable. You know, I remember everything he did in the show, but at the same time, I don't remember, remember too much details. Like, there's, there's not really many lines of his that I remember, so he's going there. Kyburn, there you go. Blood Raven, there you go. I do like... I like the idea of Blood Raven, to be honest. I do like the idea. I wish we would have spent more time with him rather than it just being very quickly over. I know he did show Brand, like he sort of had the visions with Brand. So, ah, okay, he's up and see. I enjoyed like the Brand vision stuff when it started going into the time, the, him going back in time and stuff. That was cool. Mira, you've got to be with your brother. Same sort of in the same thing. And Liana, the one trick pony. I did enjoy her sort of giving the, the Lords what, what, what's what. So probably put her in C. There we go. I can't believe that took me so long, but that's done. Uh, this took me 32 minutes of going through the characters of uh, Game of Thrones to put them in order. I might cut this down a bit. If I didn't, well then, enjoy that. But there's my list. What do you think? Well, do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? I am... I'm pretty happy with that. I think, let me see, is there anyone I would move? Maybe I'd be leaning on moving... Daenerys up one. Maybe Daenerys and Cersei are sort of teetering on going up. But did I like... See, the thing is, you start moving one up further up, you have to start moving way more further up. So I would say B are characters that I, like, really liked. Uh, actually, Theon should go up here. I think Theon should be B. I really like Theon too. So these are characters that I really liked. These are characters that just were really... Like, I really, really liked. And these are characters where I was like... Favorite characters. Favorite characters in the whole show. Obviously, Joffrey, you love to hate him. Drogo... You know, come on, that guy was cool. I loved even the we hardly saw him fight, but in the, in the scene where he got where he where he fought, fought and he killed that guy, uh, where that's where he actually got stabbed a bit, where he eventually died from that wound. That was really slick, and I love that fight scene. And I just think that you know, pouring the the golden crown on Viserys, he's such a cool character. It's one of my favorite characters. And then Ned, you know, I love Ned. Ned Ned was perfect. He did he did what he needed to do. It wasn't his fault. It wasn't his fault that he needed to die, but that's it. Okay, so there you go. Thank you very much uh, for watching. Uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel, uh, that'd be I'd be very very uh, thankful of that. Could you please uh, give a thumbs up to the video if you if you liked it? Um, let me know what who would be your favorites. Obviously, you don't have, you can even do the tier list if you want. And link me your tier list. Uh, that'd be cool. I'd have a look at have a look at your tier list. But if you uh, if you would like to just say which character you think I got wrong, let me know. Um, Apart from that, thanks for watching. See you later. See you next time.